All right, I think we're uh, I think we're on. I'll just wait a second here and see what we got. Just drop me a comment, and um, before I get started, just let me know if uh, you know. Pretty sure you guys should be able to hear me. I spent quite a bit of time uh, today working on this uh, particular setup, so you guys can hear me. But please feel free to let me know. I also I even put a little bit of uh, soothing background music on, so I'm sure you guys can hear that too. And I did test this uh, prior to doing this uh, live stream. I did a private live stream. Uh, yeah, so the, the little background music, you should be able to hear that. Um, I may turn that off here in a minute, but it's a nice little touch. All right. <clears throat> If you guys want to share, if you want to share the video, that's up to you. If you want to get more people in here, I just uh, definitely, I've been uh, really itching to do something here. So I'm probably going to go for, I'm going to say about an hour, approximately an hour. Um, all right. Now, this is a little bit abnormal for me here. Okay. Um, oh, hang on. I got paints running. I'll explain what I'm doing here. Let me just wipe this off real quick so it doesn't run all over the place here. I just want to wipe this. Alright, <clears throat> right, so I have... So here I have all my, my standard colors that I normally use. Boy, this is going to be a runner. One more second. I just want to name off the colors. When the video is done, I'll put the colors and everything in the description along with everything else. Alright. All right, so so here here we have this here. We have titanium white. I'm not going to go to these off colors. I'll do the regular ones first. So titanium white. This is Prussian blue, ivory black, burnt umber, sap green, cad yellow, yellow ochre. This is actually Indian yellow, cad red, and alizarin uh, crimson. I'm, I'm sorry, not alizarin crimson. This is, um, give me a second. My, my head is still very foggy from the last few days. This is a magenta. This is a turquoise blue, and this is a, I think a cobalt blue. I don't know why I put those here. I just I just felt like it. And I will say this too. Normally, uh, normally I use uh, Gamblin <clears throat> 1980 paints. I just happen to have the regular Gamblin paints, uh, like the I guess the higher grade artist paints. So I just, you know, figured instead of letting them get all crusty and dried up, I might as well start using them. So these are Gamblin's regular, like their higher end brand of paints, which um, I really don't think there's much of a difference between these and the cheaper ones. So, you know, that's up to you, but I, I always get the cheaper ones. Um, all right, so... <clears throat> Where, where should I, uh, where should I begin? Okay, so yeah, I just, uh, I definitely appreciate um, all the messages that I, that I received. I received a lot of messages, which um, I didn't get really any time to reply back to anybody because I definitely was very, uh, was very sick um, the last week and I had real high, real high fever, 102, 103 degree uh, temperature. And no, I, d I didn't have that virus that's going around. Um, some some other issues uh, caused me to have uh, like an infection, which made my temperature go up. So um, I just, I wasn't feeling very well. And I'm not 100% either. So, but I just thought this would be a great idea. So for, for anybody that, um, well, everybody that sent the messages over, thank you. I appreciate that. And, um, you know, it's not like me to not get back to, to people. So if I don't ever get back to somebody normally, you know something is up, something is wrong. So so yeah, so I'm glad to see everybody here. All right, so let me just give you a quick background on the the, pro, the, the thumbnail picture for the video should give you a description of what of what we're doing. I found an older an older painting um, of mine 
that's from 2016 and it was actually on a panel I painted it on a panel I just thought it would be nice to make something similar to that so that's what we're gonna do today um, quick question before we get started um, can you hear the little music the little soothing music in the background and just somebody let me know that real quickly please just like to know if you guys can hear that um, I'm not opposed to turning that music off I just I don't know I'm always trying to please everybody so that's why I put that in there um, okay good Krista says yes okay um, now next uh, just one other thing should I should it stay or should it go stay or go just just comment stay or go it doesn't matter to me um, I'd be glad to you know either leave it or turn it off or or whatever so just just let me know stay okay I just yeah I just thought it'd be nice and soothing all right so it looks like we got a couple stays stay all right cool well at any point all right good deal any point through the stream if it starts to irritate you just let me know and I'll I'll turn it off <clears throat> excuse me and if I cough <clears throat> just excuse me ahead of time because <clears throat> uh yeah all right so I did I, I took some uh some of Gamblin's gel I put that in some of the areas up here and I put it here also all right little preventative measure there so I'm gonna start off with a nice sky color so I'm gonna probably use hmm, you know what I'm gonna try to use some of this stuff here some of this little <clears throat> some of this little blue but I, it's like blue turquoise or something like I'll put it in the description when we're all done okay pop some of this up here in the sky maybe see how this looks I'm using a three-quarter flat one of my uh, three-quarter synthetic brushes because I'm looking at this other picture over here and it has this color I don't think I used this color but this is pretty darn close to it You know, and also, um, you know what, I'll try to hold the palette up a little bit like this. I got this cool little handy dandy little plastic thingy here. All right. So I'll try to hold this up for you guys for the, you know, for the important uh, parts. Okay. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. Diane Mulliken. Thank you, Diane. Thank you for the, uh, the super chat. I, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'm going to try to look down at the comments too. Um, but also at the same time, I'm going to try to make some progress, you know, with the uh, painting for you guys. But I'll try to, I have my phone here and I have an iPad off to the left, which now that I'm looking at the iPad, I'm definitely getting old because the, the writing is, is like super blurry. Um, so I, maybe I, I need to go get some glasses or something or either that or it's just the age getting to me. Okay, so I just popped some white down here, okay. I'm going to darken it just a hair up on the top here, too. Now, the other painting was on a panel. So, this here is, uh, it's kind of, you know, a different size. So, I'm just going to try to make it look, look good, you know, perspective-wise, okay? <clears throat> now, another thing, um, I'm just going to mention this. I have... Man, I have a lot of paintings sitting around, and I'm running out of spots to uh, to hang them. Every single one of the live streams, every one that I do, I'm selling every single painting. They're all the same price, 150 bucks. They're all every live stream, all the live streams only. Um, and the last couple, they're gone already. You know, so you know, I definitely appreciate that. Um, but I hate to see the painting sitting in boxes. As a matter of fact, that's why I'm doing a lot of giveaways for, you know, just you know, military, nurses, stuff like that. Just so they go to somewhat of a good use instead of sitting in boxes. All right, so this pretty little color that we have here, I'm going to darken the top just a little bit. So I'm going to grab, I don't want to break my habit here. I'm going to grab, this is some little bit of Prussian blue right here. And maybe I'll mix that with this, something like this. Get some of this together. I think that'll be nice. 
just so it's not, you know, hardcore transition. Nice light transition. Okay. And I'll throw some of that color here. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice little change right there. All right. And I'm not going to go too crazy because I got some trees on the sides here. So I'm just going to, I'm going to just get this up here and then I'll work with it after the fact. Okay. Just like this and that. Okay. And I'm going to blend this too. Okay. Why am I saying, okay, like I'm asking for permission. I'm going to blend this. Is that okay? That's right. I'll feel, just give me a few more days and I'll be back to a hundred percent. As long as nothing crazy happens. What? I see something here. I'm just going to get a little bit more of that color. Kind of frame this in a little bit here. Just put the dark color like this and that. Maybe this will help kind of give that illusion of perspective and distance and all that. Okay. When I blend that, that'll, that'll be great. Not worried about here because we got some bushes. It looks like there. Some bushes over here. Stuff like this. Oh, and I'm going to do something really cool that I, I, I've never done this before, but I'm going to use a sponge for some stuff today. So, thought it'd be interesting, very interesting. So, I got a roll of paper towels right here, too, and I'm just wiping this off. It's a little three quarter brush. I'm going to try not to bore you guys with all the little details. So, I'm going to grab me. Where did you go? My, I'm going to grab a, just a one inch, just a one inch brush right here. All right. And I'm going to try to, I'm going to blend this. Now this is a super soft, soft sky. So you're not going to see, you know, it's not going to look appear super, super bright to you. TGV chalky white. Thank you. I appreciate that. Appreciate the super chat. Thank you so much. How's it going? Well, it is going it's going better considering that I'm here and I'm breathing and I'm and I'm alive and all that stuff. So life is uh, life is good since I'm breathing. Hey there, Mr. Roper. Freddie, how you doing, man? I see you pain. Yes, sir, man. Thank you. I am trying. I'm blending this together. I'm not going to... I want to leave... This is light. This is dark. I want to try to not blend it all into one, you know, dead color. So I'm just going to, and I want to leave like the little variations and stuff. And another thing, um, an another thing I want to say too, real quick, this, see this one inch brush right here. Um, this is a, um, Alexander, Alexander's magic brush. Um, I just thought this was pretty cool. Um, so I wanted, I ordered a couple of these and and I do that often, even though I have, you know, I have brushes that, that are mine, that are one inch, two inch and all that. I still love to use other, other people's brushes. And I do that often, not just, not just mine. I'm going to go soft up here in the corners too, because I don't want too much paint up there because we got some bushes and things happening. And if you hear like a, uh, like a squeaky noise. Let me see if I can do it. I'm sitting in this chair. I'm actually sitting down today. I just don't have the energy to stand up right now. So this is such a pretty blue combination right here. I like it. I like it. And my iPad's falling down. Stay. Sit. Okay. All right. Let's wrap this part up here and where are we going which is back there okay all right so here we go we're gonna wrap this up here do, 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 do. nice little blue color there and I'm actually wondering I'm wondering if I should I don't know darken I was gonna say should I darken it up a little bit more in the corners let me see let me just grab a little color I don't know I probably shouldn't. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm just going to get a little bit more 
of the, uh, this is just Prussian blue. There's a little bit of our mystery mix, whatever that color is. I'm not exactly sure. Just going to pop a little bit here and here, just for the heck of it. Do a little bit more of that. I just don't want it to all be the same color, you know? Anything that I do, I always like having different colors. It doesn't matter what I'm making. I just really like different colors and everything, or different shades and different, you know, values or whatever the proper terms are. I don't even know the proper terms. All right, back to this guy here. All right. I'm not worried about, like, the corner corners because I got some trees that are popping up in there, so... And another thing, like when you guys are blending your, like blending your skies like this right here, you know, I would, I would just recommend to leave the different spots, like the dark and the light, you know, uh, the lighter areas, the darker areas, you know, leave those because it, it probably will, you know, look better at the end. Um, all right. So let's see here. All right. I'm going to start off with. I'm looking at this other painting and it looks like there's like a real subtle type of a hill or or something in the in the background so let's you know what i'm just going to put that in there it may not even it's barely showing through it, it appears to be a green blue color so let's do this let's grab some of this here some of our bluish whatever i'm going to try to save some room on this palette get some green all right Let's get some of that stuff and maybe I'm just going to throw a little tiny bit of brown that just kind of dulls it a little bit and makes it not look so I don't know vibrant or whatever it makes it look more like an earth color so I got a little bit of brown some of our blue a little bit more white in there this is like super light so I'm going to actually go over here and start a new little aisle here Oh, I see you there, Brian. Yeah, sorry, uh, Brian. Sorry, I didn't even... I, I honestly didn't even know I was doing this until maybe an hour ago, and I was still really debating whether I was going to do it. So, sorry I didn't notify um, you. All right, let's try this here. This is a pretty earthy-looking background something. And this is oil, by the way. No, this is not acrylic. Okay, so let's see. It looks like there's something back here. I'm just going to throw the color in and then just I'll work with it, you know, after afterwards. And this is going overboard because the other one is definitely not showing like this, so. It come off higher like this. I don't know. This is just like a hill or something. A bit more life to it. Let me set this down over here. All right, so now I'm just going to wipe this off, right? Boom, wipe that off. And I'm going to grab, I'm just reaching over and grabbing uh, just some, a little bit of white, straight white. And I'm going to just pop this in here and here. Just like this. A lot of this is going to get eaten up. Hang on one second. Let me try to turn this light down a little bit. One of the things that I'm noticing is that... Yeah, it, once we start putting colors on, it'll be alright. It's, it's, um, it's not as vibrant on the screen as it is in front of me and I am using a different camera because I'm I'm not my other my main camera is at the uh it's at the studio and I'm not there I'm home so I'm just grabbing some of that color that we mixed up that blue and green um even though I keep saying this is probably not going to show through but I just want to put a, a few little um areas in here just in case it does show through all right just like so there's some little hills and 
stuff happening on these hills. All right, there's this. All right, see, just be real loose and stuff. Don't even worry about fine details with everything. I'm just taking the, this one inch brush and I'm gonna just soften this up. Just like this, do these little circles. And if you actually go soft enough, you could just kind of go right over top of the whole thing like this and it really just kind of, it'll set it down right into the sky and it'll give it that far away look. Yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about the thumbs down button. You know, it doesn't matter. It that that stuff used to bother me. It doesn't bother me anymore because let me give you an example. I um one of the recent videos that I did where I um so I guess you could say I donated some some paintings for free, free shipping, free everything. I donated it to um a couple different nurses um which will be getting their paintings anytime now. I did it. It was just a donation. It wasn't nothing else. I was just trying to do something nice. I had like thumbs down on that. So like if somebody hits a thumbs down on that, like here's what I, f I figured out. If you do a nice video, something like that, and, and somebody doesn't like it, they just, you know, just like pray for that person because obviously they got some, some real shit going on in their life. Um, so don't worry about don't worry about any of the thumbs down. It doesn't even bother me. But I'll bet you when YouTube makes it public, where you can see who does that, the thumbs down will they'll, they'll sort of like vanish a little bit more. All right. So you see how this is blended in? Um, it's like it's just like it looks like a misty something. All right. Okay. All right. So now I th I'm thinking about. Maybe I should switch brushes here. So let me figure out what should I try to use here. Um, I have a uh, cool little small little filbert here. Maybe I'll try this one and see how well we can do. So now what I want to do is start putting in. Um, I'm not going to not worry about over here too much. We're over here yet. But in this area right here, I want to put in some of the stuff uh, that we have there. All right, so let's go down here and mix a color up. I'm going to take some I'm going to throw it right in the pile. That's another good thing. If you're mixing new colors, just put them right on top of the other pile. You know, as long as it's not a big, big, huge mountain of paint. But there's not that much there. I'm going to take some green. I'm going to take some brown. Green and brown. Maybe just a tiny bit of black. Tiny bit of blue. Um, see what this does. A little bit more green in there. Just mixing that up. And take a little bit of this yellow ochre. Put that right about there. Okay. All right. So let's see. There is some stuff back here. You know what? Just to clear up something here. Hold on. Let me do this just so we know just so i know where i'm going we have a little thing that comes down it comes off the edge right about here which just kind of wanders this way like this and the other portion of it this is not like super far away either kind of goes this way this is more close up just a wandering little stream okay that kind of goes like this and i tell you people all the time this do this because um even these little non-detailed sketches will help you a little bit. I like doing them. Just throwing a few lines and it helps you, you know, direction. It helps you know where you're going. Okay, I'm just going back into that pile that uh, we just mixed up. So I'm just going to put some color in here. 
start getting it in. I'm going to try to... Um, what size is the canvas today? This is a 12 by 16. A 12 by 16 stretched canvas. Okay. Some color there. Put some over here like this. See, I'm just putting the color down. Okay, and then, and then I'm going to work with it after it's down. Alright, let's go to... Alright, so I'm going to change the tone a little bit. Go back here. Maybe I'm going to get a little bit more blue. And add a little white to that. Some green. You know what? Maybe we'll just whoop, scoop some yellow into there. And some more white. I just want to change the tone up a little bit. Just so it's not the same color. Alright, so I'm just dropping some stuff. Now, you'll see what I'm going to do here in a minute. Gonna, uh, I really got to lighten that color up. I'm just getting the, the basic color down. And then I'm going to work. I'm going to build upwards from, from what, you know, what I'm doing here. Man, my speech is like messed up still. I, I'm like trying to think straight and I'm still having trouble <laughs> thinking straight. Which I think I always have trouble thinking straight. This is still all but technically background stuff. This is yellow ochre. I have a pile here of just yellow ochre, green, black, blue. A little mixture of everything going on here. Okay. This is like super loose painting. Okay, now we got some colors. We have some colors. All right. So I'm going to still use the filbert. All right, and then let's do this. Let's start off, and I'm gonna. I've made my filbert nice and flat. Why? I'm actually going to. Let me see if I can use the filbert to make a little pine tree, a push-up tree. I'm gonna just put some trees in here. The background trees. I mean, these aren't, I say background, they're still like up close, sort of. I'm just, I'm pushing upward. And I'm just reloading into the pile of green. there maybe this one goes down I'll make this one a downward tree I'm just tapping it I'm gonna grab just some yellow ochre maybe it's gonna scrub some stuff right here real quick like this same here you know whatever shows like whatever shows through when we put other stuff in front that's cool <laughs> now I'm, I'm just scooping in well, I'll just pick the palette up yellow there was dirt dirt here on my brush dirty paint fine fine I want some of this yellow back here, too. I love doing little circles and, and stuff like that. So the point is, there's just different colors and different things there. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna wipe. I'm gonna wipe this little filbert off real quick. And come in here, and I'm gonna pick some of this paint up and just do these little circles. And you might be looking at this like, what the hell is he doing? Like this is a big mess, and it's it's just uh, painting uh, loose, you know, loosely and. Just to get, you know, hopefully some nice background things happening.
actually there's a big tree gonna be coming over here so i'm just gonna put some stuff here Right now i'm gonna i'm gonna start i'm gonna put some of our like areas in here some of our ground i want to put some of that in and figure out what's dark and what's not so i'll start with some dark first so i'm gonna go here some blue uh green uh brown and black pretty dark and then i gotta figure out where the sun's coming from coming I don't know we'll figure that out later but I'm gonna start putting in some nice dark color here and I'm just gonna actually go off of the other picture and whether or not the lighting is right I'll I'll determine that and try to fix it as I go it this the other painting was super super old like from 2016 so the lighting might not even have been right I'm just getting some of the dark color getting dark in here and I'm going to leave the areas that are that are going to have some sunlight. I'm not going to put anything there just yet. Get this nice and dark. We could put even some bushes in here to go in front of those trees. Okay, and then let's go over to this side here. So let's get some more of that black and blue and green again. Okay. Just gonna put this in because it looks like I have a big spot of dark. Oh, not there. That was actually light. The dark is in here. That's okay. I can fix that. Fix that later. Probably could use a bigger brush for this, but it's okay. Now I'm just gonna fill it in. I'll put the light on top when I'm, when we're done. Green, little brown to earth, earthen that up a little bit. Is that a term? Earthen it. Earthen it up. Feels nice to paint again. If anybody was wondering. Okay. That looks like we got there's some shadows back there, so let me get some more green. Yellow ochre. This is a lighter dark. And I'm just going to just put some of it in back here like this. And then whatever. Whatever. Wherever there isn't a shadow, put the light. Dark here. Around the back. All right. Are you doing? Are you doing better? Yes, I am. Yep. Not um. Not one hundred uh, percent at all, but I just thought it would be a good idea to to do that. We have what I'm doing to, to make something. Just lightening this up because. I think maybe this continues on back. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to move on to. I'm going to. I'm going to start putting some of the light in here. Like just some of the basic um, the highlight colors. Just get, get them in there. So for here. We have some yellow and some green, it looks like. Nice yellow green. So I'm just mixing yellow and green. Right, let's get that on here. Color in there. This. Made up like this. And get some yellow ochre into there put some green 
little bit of white. Start getting some of this color over here. And all this can be refined after the fact. Hope you feel better soon. Oh wow, Patty, thank you so much. I I really appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. I am I'm definitely doing I'm doing my best. Hopefully, uh hopefully I can continue you know, continue to feel all right. Um and for anybody that may have joined late like later in the stream, I, d I didn't have any of that virus or whatever that's going around. I have um I have some other things like I don't want I guess well, health, I guess yeah, health concerns at the moment um that caused some other stuff to go you know to go wrong and um just kind of just put me out a little bit but uh i'm working on it thank you and uh yeah just thank you thank you so much for that but i thought that uh painting a picture would make you know make things just better for me I'm just putting this color down and I'm going to work with this. It's not going to be a big, huge highlight right there. Okay. Yeah, no, uh, no Corona, not for me. No Corona. Now this is, uh, you know, once again, this is just the, like the under, you know, the, I don't call it underpainting. It's just like the basic values and basic things, okay? Just in case anybody's wondering. Okay, let's get some more green in with our yellow. And I hope you guys like... I'm trying to hold the palette up for you guys. I hope you guys like that. I always try to be super, like, accommodating for everybody. I always do my best to accommodate... Yeah, Mike, I'm working on it. Thanks, man. Thank you. <clears throat> I am working on it. And I, I feel bad because I, I know that a lot of people um, had reached out and messaged me and emailed me. And um, anybody on here should know that I always get back to people. So if I don't... Um, if I don't get back to somebody, there's, you know, there's some, there's something up, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not just one of the people that avoids or doesn't bother. I always get back. <clears throat> Am I using the thin paint? No, this is just out of the tube. No thinning, nothing like that. Hey, Andy. How you doing, buddy? Love to see the palette. Yeah, Krista, I'm, I'm trying to do, you know, to do stuff here. To make it more convenient for everybody so you see i've got this dark here and this light so look i'm just going to do this it doesn't you know see this i can do these little x's like this i'm just going to kind of bring this together a little bit remember i earlier i said this is light right there so i got to put the light there now that's too green for me so i'm actually going to I'm actually going to grab um, a little bit of brown, okay? Brown will help you sort of in this situation right here. If you have something that looks too vibrant green, touch a little brown on it, and that'll help it. That'll just kind of, it'll just help it out. Okay. All right, enough of that. But let's, let's get that highlight back in. I'm actually going to just use a dirty brush. And I'm going to get some yellow here. Oh, why am I holding it over there? Yellow. I'm just getting some yellow on here. And I just want to, I just want to just drop in just some of that light color there. Just a little bit more yellow. <clears throat> yeah, and I saw. I'm. I apologize about my voice or my talking. I'm not super clear um, at the moment. Let's see here. I'm from. A four generation military family. I remember the kind of words you have said and enjoy your videos. Thank you. Sandra, thank you. 
Thank you for the uh, super chat. I appreciate that. And it means a lot. Awesome. Four ge fourth generation military family. That is awesome. Amazing. Thank you, Sandra. I'm just putting this yellow in. And it's this is not going to be like the final thing here. You know, I'm just trying to get some of that color color in there. You know, and see this still? A little it's too vibrant for me. All right, so now I'm going to go back to that brown right there. And I'm just going to touch some brown in here. And I know some of you might be thinking this is a, you know, it might be a, a mess of mud, but it's not. I mean, it's it's muddy or whatever, a little bit. All right, but I'm going to be careful, you know, how I control it here in a minute. All right. And let me grab some of that yellow ochre and yellow right there. And let me just put just a little touch of something here just to change like the variation. So it's just not all one solid dark. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to grab the paper towels and I'm going to wipe this off here. I'm going to wipe this off. And then before we move too far forward, I'm going to grab... Um, I'm just going to use this filbert, I believe, and I'm going to put in a few little um, light areas here, like maybe bushes. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to take some of this Indian yellow that I have here. I never really used this color. I'm going to take some Indian yellow and I'm going to take some regular yellow, cad yellow, and just a tiny bit of green maybe. And a little bit of white actually to that. Let's see what we get here more yellow i just wanted a little different flavor then there we go maybe let's see how that looks i'm going to push into this i'm going to push into this and then all right mainly right in this area here i just want if somebody ever sees this in real life i just want there to be a little bit of uh you know something here all right so there's like maybe some bushes there now i'm going to get even more yellow some more yellow with some green in it and I'm gonna come right here too Ooh, I just want to make sure I don't have anything going in front of this these are just little little details for real life viewing not so much uh, online viewing I put a little yellow ochre in there like this and I better put something back here too. Okay. Alrighty, then wiping this filbert off here. I'm gonna set I'm gonna set this filbert down. I have another brush here. And this is a a no-name brush. It's just a little, I don't know what it is. Probably a Walmart brush or something. But I think what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to take this brush here and I'm going to go, I'm going to go pull it through some yellow and green like this. And even maybe some yellow ochre. And then I'm going to scoop a little bit of white with it. Just to you know lighten it up a hair and I'm gonna go back here to this area here and I'm just gonna put in like little I don't even know I'm just making a little I'm thinking about the shape of a pine tree sort of just to get it in now this may have a little more detail in this painting but that's okay it's gonna tap in some little things like this and this will look really cool in real life some here too because it's a different stroke different brush strokes and stuff like that pull up some things I think this is light back here pretty cool actually I like that I like it We'll work on the water here in a second. Okay. 
All right, I'm actually, since I have this brush here, this little cool little round thing, I'm gonna go into, uh, I'm gonna take some brown, just a little bit of brown on there. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna just, oh, that was a lot, of, a lot of indication, I can get rid of that. I just wanted a little bit of uh, indication here, of like a, you know, a trunk or something. And that's for later on, not for right now super light. I probably could have put some white in there to lighten that up a little bit. Back, you know, little trees in the background. Oh, so yeah. So look, take some, uh, even some little bit of white to lighten that up. So it's not so harsh of a brown and none of this is thinned. No paint is thin at all. A little bit better. Just pulling up slowly, carefully. There's a big tree back here. Now, I made a big tree, so I have to actually follow through with it. I didn't intend to make it that big first, but that's okay. Because now I'm going to go like this. It's going to drop in a, a nice little... It's going to be a tree now. We'll put some leaves on that in a few minutes, a little further back. All right, I'm going to wipe this little guy off here. Wipe him off. Okay, let's see, what do I want to do next here? Um, so we got the basic colors down. Got the basic colors down, so. Hmm. All right, let me grab, what brush am I gonna use now? I'm going to grab a fan brush. Let's do that. I'm going to grab a fan brush here. And that's that's dark. That's light. What? I got to make this bigger. So this little guy here, he's got to grow just a little bit. So let's do this. Let's grab just some dark, some green, a little black, some brown. So green and uh, this burnt umber make a nice... A good tree color. Just be careful. The brown is actually pretty strong. All right, so I'm going to get some of this here. I want to make him a little bit bigger. Let's do this. Simple. Let's put a little line in right here, right down like this. And you know what? I'm. I always make the little uppy trees. I'm gonna make a downy, a down tree. So let's do this. I want this dark. Oh. I like that, that's nice, dark. I actually think this will be nice if we put um, Maybe another little one right next to him. Something right there. That. <clears throat> Leave some air showing through him. This. We can fix the shadows here in a second too. No big deal. <laughs> Alright, so that's cool. That's cool. And then while we have the fan brush, you might as well go ahead and make some variations and things like, you know, here, make a dark bush right there, you know, little ones like this. You no, know, just, just so you have different light and dark, light and dark contrast is always a good thing to have. Just really just filling in some of these areas here. Taking some of that dark, 
put it in with the light and it gives you that just nice variation seeing I put that light color in the back earlier you can now come in and put some dark color in it this you know you could do so many different things it's amazing what you can do okay Let's see where we're going all right I you know what before we go too 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 far I'm gonna grab the three-quarter of the flat brush and go ahead and drop some of our uh, water and think about the water here for a minute so I'm gonna get some white some white paint and then go back to our original colors which is this here both blues and some white which should be fine and then I'm just gonna go like this so this side's gonna have that I'm just gonna sort of like slice it in I guess I know I'm going to get some of the green in there, and that's all right. I'm not, too, I'm not sweating it. Just wanted to get some of the color in. Just going to get some more from that little pile you just saw. I'm just going to go back over this one more time. Try to get close to that edge. Okay. I'm just going to wipe it real quick because I noticed I had a lot of that green on there. Going back into the pile again. Because this kind of sweeps around the corner like this. Disappeared. I wiped it off. I'm just getting more of that blue color. And we can fix all this in the back here. All right, so now I'm just going to I'm going to use a dirty brush since we already have color on the fan brush, and get some some of our dark colors. All right, put some of that in there. Something like this. Got some back here, it looks like. Then I'm gonna let me wipe the fan brush off. I'm gonna wipe the fan brush off and then I'm just getting some uh straight up yellow, some CAD yellow. See, just put it there like this. And I'll show you what's going down here in a second. <laughs> Thinking all right three-quarter brush just wiping it off real quick and then now we'll go ahead and do this let's start from here I'm just gonna yank some of this down actually you know what before I do that I better add that little bit more blue right there so it'll so it'll mix nicely because I wanted to have both blue and uh, you know the dark color let's do this I'm just going to carefully just pull some of this down like this. This will just help, bring, you know, bring it nicely together, blend it nicely. I'm going to wipe it off before I go back over that yellow because I don't want to make it too dark. Some over here, it looks like a little reflection there. Okay, wipe this off again. Just go back and forth and see how this does. Seems like it's working pretty good so far. Yeah, I, I do need to, I feel like I need to make sure that since I'm doing this, there is a little bit of dark here, a little reflection from this little tree above. You know, so we want to put that in there just so it looks right. I'm going to get some, just some dark color. See this here? 
we have this tree here and then we have one next door I just want to put something in here like this like an upside down pine tree That. There's a few over here while we're at it, I suppose. Put that back down. I'm gonna get to that three quarter again, and then I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna pull straight down, I guess. This. And maybe I'll try to do a little careful little side to side thing like this. That seems like it's working for the time being, for right now. And that'll make more sense when we, if there's a water line there in, in a minute. All right, so we got this going here. Um, just gonna grab this fan brush real quick. I'm gonna pat this down a little bit. Make it look a little bit more even. It's not just like this crazy one thing is light and the next isn't. Now, technically, there's a tree here. Uh, not technically. There is a tree there. So there should be some more shadow here like this. Maybe there's a little bit coming somewhere from there peeking through. I'm not sure that I'm making sense either. So Okay, I'm not too worried about here yet. Um, but you know what? Now, since I said it, I'm going to get some green and some brown and a little blue. Green, brown, blue, maybe a little bit of this color, uh, yellow ochre. Let's do this. Let's put in something here. This. I don't even know what this is. Something. Maybe we'll just do little circles. How's that? Circles, we'll do circles. There you go. That's enough for right now on that. Um, okay, I'm not worried about this guy yet. We'll do something with him in a minute. I'm going to grab the baby filbert right now. Let me see something here real quickly. I'm going to grab the baby filbert. I'm going to make the very first tree. I'm going to take some brown. I'm just going to use brown for right this minute, just straight brown. All right. Right. Yeah, right about there, right? Looks about right to me. I'm just going to put it in. Drops in right about there. And this is the other side. I'm just going to try to shape it quick. And here's the other branch here. Right, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to fill this in real quick while I do that I'm gonna make a quick I'm gonna make a quick adjustment here to the stand so I'm gonna pause the microphone for a second so nothing's dropping off I'm just gonna fill this in and I'm gonna make this adjustment over here real quickly because I feel like it's gonna fall so just bear with me one second
Okay, all good. All good. I'm just putting in these little branches. Like I said, just kind of filling this in. We're going to put leaves and a bunch of stuff on here. So. <clears throat> I want to make this tree actually a little bit more... I want to give it a little bit more life, maybe some bumps and stuff. This super easy to do. You just wiggle your fan or wiggle your Gilbert. Now he's a bumpy tree. <laughs> um, okay, so there we have that there. And the other one didn't have this, but I'm thinking that there should be one that kind of goes off the canvas too this and I'm gonna put the dark colors in here in a minute okay All right I wish you could send the delivery with hot tea money <laughs> that'd be cold <laughs> well thank you for the thought I appreciate it all right, so now black. This is just going to be black, pure black. I don't know where the light's coming from. I'm following the other painting at this point. Black was on this side. So before anybody roasts me about the light, I'm not worried about it because I'm just trying to, like, paint something. That was it. So the black really helps with a lot. It just helps with the dimension of the tree everything <clears throat> some like dark color there also I'm gonna get some black and a touch of green so it's like a dark green let's just say for example if the light is coming this way there's gonna be a shadow right Something like this, see? And then, without even cleaning it, I'm just saying we could always come back and get some yellow, right? And if there was any, like, peeking through, you can give that little indication if you want. Uh, you know, like, very impressionistic. Whatever. Right? Let me wipe off the... Let me wipe the brush off real quick. Just wiping it off and then since I got the filbert I'm just gonna I'm just getting some pure white right now straight up white and um, I'm gonna come here give this guy some brightness in his life there brightness in his life what I need right now make him feel better just using white the brown is mixing that's why it looks a different color. Hold the brush different ways. This will help you build a tree. Three-dimensional tree, you know. starting to come to life a little bit that tree we didn't even put leaves on it yet All right now the other tree and the other uh, one is much closer shot of moonshine you know what I think I might have some of it no I don't have moonshine but I'm sure one of my neighbors do moonshine and you know what that's a good uh, actually as soon as I'm done the live stream I'm gonna run I'm gonna I'll ask my neighbors and see if they have it. If you think that'll help, I'll definitely drink a couple glasses of it. Yeah, I've heard of it, but I've never drank in it before. But if, if it helps, heck, you know, I'll go. I'll definitely try it. Anything at this point. <laughs> All right. So the other tree. We got this one here. I want. I don't want this one to lean. I want this one to be more straight. 
I'm going to make, it's going to come down here, so it's not going to be even. I'm on it. I'm definitely on it, for sure, <laughs> as soon as we're done here. <laughs> All right, so little baby Filbert and some brown. All right, see, brown. All right, let's see here. I want this guy to come right. I'm just going to make somewhat of an outline of it. I want him to come down much lower. He's down here. Like this, I'm just getting more brown. I'm going to do this. I want this one to be much bigger. This. Okay. So I'm just going to get some brown. I'm going to fill in pretty much the left side of this with brown, just the left side, because the, the right side would be um, black. So this blue here is, uh, it's a it's a turquoise, it, it said it was like a turquoise green, or turquoise blue or something. I'm going to list the color right in the description as soon as the video is done. I don't have the tube of paint right here with me. Um, it, it's actually, it's in my garage. I'll make sure that I list it so you guys can see it. <laughs> okay, and I'm actually going to do something here. I'm going to get just some more brown. And I want to make a double three right here. Just to kind of close this gap in here. This. Now I'm going to get some black. So I'm going to set that palette down. I'm going to just continue filling this in black for right now. This the right side. This will help it with, like I said, dimension. Right. I'm using a lot more paint. because I'm not going to really put anything on top of this. <laughs> Might as well fill this in down here. Nice dark color for now. And when I put the light on here in a second, you'll, you'll really, you should be able to see, you know, <clears throat> you just kind of get rid of this sharp line here in the center. I'm going to wipe this off real quickly here. Wipe that off and then I'm going to get me some. Now, I, I know I used white right there. On this one and maybe i'll do some more to that and we didn't even put leaves on this thing yet okay i'm going to start off with some yellow ochre first i have quite a bit on here all right i just want to get it on here like this because i want this tree to be nice rolling the brush down and back into the yellow ochre same thing <clears throat> 
roll it, rolling it, rolling it. Kind of like this. I just got some more yellow ochre. Now, now watch, I'll show you how to build a tree. There we go. Now I got this yellow ochre. I'm just going to just kind of make sure there's no straight lines anywhere. Maybe jab it a little bit like this. <laughs> Same thing over here. Just like touching, moving my brush around. Texture. A lot of texture on here. <laughs> and I'm going to grab grab some first I'm gonna wipe this off and then that's it's the filbert seems to be working so nicely I'm just gonna get some white paint just some straight up white on here and it's okay if it mixes some brown or whatever was on left on the brush maybe I'll just get a little yellow ochre in there so it's not pure white it's a pretty good amount all right, now I really wanted this one to stand out. I'm going to come right about here. I'm going to start rolling the brush. I'm going to go back and pick up some more of that white color. Right here. Nice, good texture on this guy here. Okay, more white paint. Back here, too. Wiggle, take your brush and you can wiggle. And this will give you some nice little wood green looking things. Just wiggle it up and down. Do that all the time with this, like wiggle up and down, sideways. And it'll give you like a nice realistic looking tree. Okay. Okay, now let me wipe this off real quick. Back to the brown. A little black in it this time. So just our brown and a little tiny bit of black. I want to put in a um, little branch here. Okay. And more, yeah, just brown, a little bit of black. I'm gonna put a, um, I don't want them too low. Maybe this one here will kind of... Wait. Right. And we can fix that, no problem. Maybe this branch goes right in the front. Right now, I'll fix that. Gonna wipe the brush off on the palette. Buzz. Oh, I got a piece of paper towel. I got buzz on it. Okay. I'm just gonna take, get some more white. We had a little pile going already right there. Okay. We gotta add a little bit of the yellow ochre in there, back in there. And then we could just fix this little branch right here. Okay, down the edge, hold it like this, helps to get the paint off. Here. Gives you a sense of direction of where, you know, where the, which way the branch is going and all that.
Now, remember I said earlier about reflected light? I'm going to grab uh, just a pile of white, a little bit of white. doesn't matter. There's some dirt in there, and that's okay. I'm going to get some Prussian blue. White, Prussian blue, and then the tiniest bit of brown. For some reason, that just seems like it dulls it just a little bit. Or blue. Okay. Now, let's put reflected light up in this tree. We do some here too. This does a few things. It helps the tree stand out and it helps you see, you know, see it better, the back side, the dark side. Now, I go overboard a lot with this reflected light stuff. That's all right. Okay, just very impressionistic type of stuff. All right. Next. Let's... Uh, before we add any leaves, I'm going to go ahead and get, I'm just going to probably take the fan brush and wipe the fan brush off real quick. Okay. Now I'm going to start, I want to add some grass in, so let's do this. Let's take some yellow, a little bit of yellow ochre, and some green. Something like this. Push into it. See, push. Push into it, and then, I don't know, I st man, light's got to be coming a little bit this way, so let's do this. Just going to get the idea here, where this is heading. What direction is this heading in? Some more color. Color, brighter color. I get some more yellow ochre in this one here. Mm -hmm. Back here. Some of that dark happening right there as well the tree there because you can see that probably the yellow oh well, sort of yellow a little bit of light area that's coming through here that visible All right, I gotta wipe this off real quick <laughs> I'm gonna scoop up some yellow and bring it over here some white some yellow and white and really wanted to get some of that nice yellow into here this area here Just pushing it into the fan brush Try to get it on there. Some of it's growing on the tree too.
little darker color is fine for over here. More green in it. Pop it in some, some stuff here. Maybe same thing. It's growing up this little tree. Soften that up a little bit. So it's more of an impression rather than actual detail. Back here, I don't know. Get some yellow ochre there. Hello, Terry. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope your family's doing well. Good to see you. I want this to be... Um, oh, maybe I'm just going to leave that there, you know? You can kind of see it going around the corner, I suppose. Okay, let me do something here. Let me set the fan brush down. And... I'm going to grab a knife, I guess. Grab a knife. Yes, I'm going to clear a little spot right here. Right there. I just want to get me some sort of a white color. I guess it's like blue, yet whatever. It's just an off white color at this point. We'll see if it works or not. I just want it to be visible. For everybody there's a little blue stuff in there too I'm gonna start start here I guess um, yeah. I'll clean the land up here in a second I'm not I may mess the land up but that's okay I just want to get something in here so you can see it okay just something there it's getting more more of that color on here Here, sure, you can see this one. Little ripples there. Just some kind of ripples or something now let me said i was gonna fix the land i knew i was going to mess it up and it's cool <clears throat> um so i'm gonna grab the um fan brush this is super easy to fix this land right here we can do a couple things i'm gonna get a little dark, dark color brown green go like this Just make some little things Right there. You know, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much at all. Or get a little bit of the yellow color there and then even put a little highlight color. Actually, let me get some of this brighter yellow. I'll show you. I love contrast. So look, let's put a little, ooh, a little bit of that shining right over. Yes. A little dark back here too. So you can see the little grass growing. Maybe there's some growing like this in the tree in the little trunk area very dark you very very dark all right so we got that little bump there little line little water line all right let me see here i'm going to i'm going to 
gonna grab the uh, the flat brush again, okay? Let's do this. Let's get the the flat brush, and then the only other thing I got to do make sure is that I have a little bit of a clear spot here on the palette because I have to do just a, a quick mix up of a color. I'll show you too in a second. I'm just taking the knife. I'm just clearing me a nice little spot. So this way there's there's no trouble for the mixing. Okay. Alright, so I have the where you go, the three quarter brush, okay. And then I wanna make Let's try to do this. Let's take a little bit of blue, maybe. Try a little bit of Prussian blue. And maybe some red. I don't know. Let's try that. Let's see what that does. Prussian blue, red. Let's get some white in there. Okay, that's super, super strong of a color. I need let's try some more red in there I'm just mixing this as we're going and let's put a little bit of this magenta in there as well and some more white All right, let's see how that works. So, two, come up here. This is gonna be the dark, okay? This is the dark. So I just wanna swish some of this color around it back up in here. getting more of that same color on there pops up there I just keep reloading it because I am picking up some of the brown and that's that's fine as long as you you know reload it you'll be it should be okay um, one thing I want to do here is I'm probably gonna want another branch I'll outline this again here in brown but see this here we need a branch right there. I'll fix that in a second, but just a little guide. All right. I'm gonna wipe off this. Will I be getting more paint sets? Um, you know, yeah, I don't know when though. Um, I'm not sure when. I, I talked to the manufacturer like about the brushes and stuff too the other day and they said that when they open back up so you know we'll see what happens really with all that and when you know timing I'm just getting some more brown on here we'll just go like this and line that put a little actually I'm gonna put a few little other little branches in here and stuff maybe we'll have Want one there? Try it one there. Yep. Now I do. So yeah, I don't know. I I don't know. We'll have to see when everything gets you know back up and going and all. Okay. Okay. Just getting more of that beautiful purple color.
This is the dark portion of that color too. This is not the, the light portion. This is the dark portion. And it's important, I think, to overlap your tree trunks. I think it gives it just a good, nice feel, a good, you know, natural look. I, that's my opinion, obviously. All right, so there's the dark portion of it. Just get wipe my hand off because I got some this color on my hand. Okay, I just will yeah, I just will wipe this off too. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna take. I'm just going to take some white. I'm going to grab me some pretty good amount of white here. Find a spot to put it. There. I'm going to mix up, a, try to mix up a nice little light color here, if I can. Beautiful little pink. I'm going to mix up another light pile right there. Okay. Now we got some light. We have to control this a little bit better. I got to wipe this off because there's a lot of that purpley color in here. So I'm going to do that. I'm getting this stuff all over me. So I'm going to wipe this off here. This. And just clearing one more quick spot here. Okay, that, that's done. Now I can take more. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted a super, super light color. Okay, so uh, a lot of white. Right there. That's a nice color, even maybe. Heck, even a touch of red. Nice in there. Maybe. Nice little highlight looking color, right? Yeah, okay, here we go. That's what I was sort of looking for there. Just couldn't get it. I had too much garbage on the brush. Okay. Little thingies there and there. I'm getting a lot of paint on here. Here we go. You don't have to use this brush either. I mean, you could use use whatever. As a matter of fact, he actually, I just said that you don't have to use this brush. You don't have to use it. the knife you don't have to you can use a knife get someone here with a knife scooping some more up so that's all I'm doing here scooping some more up with the knife this right here will be an incredible texture when it's all said and done. Very, very nice texture. Beautiful little leaves right here. You can almost really see them. And we have some light over here too. different direction. It's always good to make different directions with the knife. <clears throat> it's 
since I'm right across the branch right there. some white paint just a couple of areas This is going to be actually pretty cool. And it's done. This is awesome. <laughs> okay. Now, if we had this tree here, I'm sure we would have... Let me get the colors here. You know, the leaves dropping on the ground time to time. indications of these little leaves right <clears throat> then so we have that there we have that there we are uh, obviously going to have some sprinkled down in the water. Well, it's indications is all that you really need. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay. Yeah. Wipe this guy off here. Wipe it off nice and good. It's a little drop down. Some lines across the water. just a little bit of this light down. Make it look nice and dreamy. It's nice and dreamy. the knife here I'm going to take some of this yellow ochre and white go, right here. go one step further and really Guy, Hooker, got a lot already, but let's just hook them up. This branch come down in the front now. Texture.
think. I'm going to grab some brown and black, a little brown and black, I suppose. Here, here, not too much more subtle than anything. Here. some off-colored white well it's more like a brown a bluey brown color these little rocks there back here some just little rocks and this will be a beautiful color interact with that purple it's on the ground uh, I'm gonna wipe that knife off you know and you guys make sure too that um, if you're not already subscribed here, make sure that you subscribe so at least you can get notifications if I'm doing stuff like this. Make sure you, and you got to turn the bell on too. If you don't turn the bell on, you're not going to get notified. All right, I'm going to take the fan brush and get a yellow, nice yellow, little ye yellow ochre in there. Okay. <clears throat> Something like this. I just want to, I'm just going to set these rocks down in the place just a little bit here. Right. Is a very simple little little thing to do but it's you know you don't have I wouldn't I didn't have to do this but I'm doing it okay and since I'm sitting right here looking at this let me get some of that brighter yellow color that we had earlier well it's not super bright now but might still serve the purpose I want to there contrast contrast is important detail back here in this little bush okay. behind the tree yeah yeah detail there now Go grab our little buddy here, our little baby thing. I'm going to take some white mixed with some red, some of that baby blue color. A little bit more of that purple over in here. Now I'm just really experimenting. Some of that blue. very light purple color this tree back here has these special little type flowers on it but there's only a few there's only you know a few of them there's not many but it's there all right and then Since we have that blue color going already with a little Prussian blue in there. Baby. There's little flowers here and there. I don't know. Some more, maybe more on the on the purple side this time. Here. 
hanging off into the water. There's a strong flower here, purple. You can see the flowers. But if there's one there, blue rows of beautiful flowers tons of them flowers right there. look at that there we go that's a stroke flower right there My kind of place right here. So we let me try something. See them flowers are falling. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Flowers are falling right out of the tree. Hanging down. Subtly, though. See this in real life. Flowers are coming down from that tree. I, uh, what else can I say here? Got the little liner brush thingy. I'm going to take some straight up, some black. A little more detail, a little more contrast. Use contrast in your paintings. Use contrast. Is it buried? Contrast is a, such a great thing. Helps other colors stand out. Yeah. Little roots right down the hill there. Well, guys. You know, I hate to uh, I hate to leave you guys when there's almost two hundred people watching. But um I really do appreciate you guys coming here and watching. And I'm sorry, like I said, that I haven't posted anything. Um, you know, I am recovering. You know, from you know, just not not feeling well. Um, and like I said, it's not no corona related anything at all. It's some other some other type of health things. So, um. You know, happy to be, you know, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be just, you know, alive and breathing every day of my life. Every day that, that I wake up, every new day that I get, I'm happy. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. If anybody wants this, the first person that messages me, it's theirs, 150 plus shipping. Um, so, well, uh, I've been very fortunate and thankful the last few um, that I did. They, they sold within minutes, so. Thank you guys, and uh, yeah, shoot me a message if you want this. It's 12 by 16. It's actually super... Wow, you know what? This is crazy. Everybody on here, go over to my Facebook page in 10 minutes. I'm looking at the screen. Un wait until you see the painting on Facebook. I have to figure out. It doesn't look anything like this. The colors are so much more pretty and beautiful. I have to work on camera adjustments. This is dull. This looks dull. Go to my Facebook page. 10 minutes it'll be posted on there it's absolutely amazing the colors are so pure and vibrant so um, i will definitely uh fix the 
camera color thingy. So, all right, guys, I'm rolling. Facebook page, 10 minutes. Check the post out. Um, oh, Krista, thank you so much. You're always so very helpful. I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, hit me up uh, wherever, text, Facebook, anything. And uh, I should see you guys real soon. As long as I stay breathing, I will see you guys real soon and interact and all that stuff. And that's it. All right, I love you guys. Take care. Have a great day, everybody. And uh, thank you again so much for stopping by because I appreciate it. See you guys.